The transformation of state structures into terror, organizations, introduction, government structures, such as the military, police, intelligence agencies, and broader state apparatus are created with the mission to protect and safeguard the rights, safety, and sovereignty of their citizens. However, throughout history, there have been numerous instances where these very institutions become what they claim to be fighting against, tyrannical, oppressive, and engaged in terrorism. This report analyzes how structures, when driven by unchecked power, fear, and external threats, can evolve into entities that contradict their stated purposes. It also explores how alliances like the Five Eyes and Israel, in their pursuit of counter-terrorism, have contributed to global and financial terror. How government structures can become what they oppose. Government structures such as the military, police, and intelligence agencies can transform into oppressive forces when certain conditions are met, consolidation of power and secrecy. Intelligence agencies and militaries are often granted broad powers in times of perceived existential threat, as these powers become entrenched. Secrecy and lack of accountability allow abuses to flourish. With no oversight or public transparency, these agencies can start engaging in the same behaviours, intimidation, fear-mongering, and violence, that they initially opposed. Dehumanization of the enemy. A key process in this transformation is the dehumanization of the enemy, where targeted groups or nations are no longer seen as human, but as enemies who deserve punishment, often indiscriminately. This allows for justifications of extreme measures, including torture, assassination, or mass casualties, militarization and escalation. A government or military may become entangled in the notion that overwhelming force is the only solution to terrorism or external threats. This leads to a continuous cycle of violence. Each military intervention, bombing campaign, or operation fuels more resentment and hostility. Over time, this escalation can mirror the very tactics of terror organizations, leading to mass civilian casualties, fear, and destruction. Police and intelligence states, intelligence agencies, tasked with monitoring and preventing terrorism, can become heavily involved in domestic surveillance, censorship, and repression. When intelligence services prioritize surveillance over civil liberties, they start creating an atmosphere of fear and oppression, which mirrors authoritarian states, institutional interests over public good. As military and intelligence agencies grow in size and scope, they may begin acting in their own interests rather than for the public good. They may create or exaggerate external threats to justify their existence, leading to endless wars and the erosion of civil liberties. In this sense, these institutions perpetuate violence rather than preventing it. The global impact of becoming the very force of terror, when multiple countries' security structures morph into what they oppose, the effects are global in scale. International alliances, such as the Five Eyes comprising the US, UK, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, and countries like Israel, in the name of fighting terrorism, have been responsible for actions that create widespread suffering, particularly in the Middle East, Afghanistan, and other conflict zones. Five Eyes Alliance, the Five Eyes Alliance, established for intelligence sharing, particularly around counterterrorism, has in recent decades been implicated in actions that have led to civilian casualties, targeted assassinations, and large-scale destabilization of countries. Drone strikes and civilian deaths. One of the most visible examples of this transformation is the use of drone warfare, the US, and its allies, in the name of combating terrorism, have launched thousands of drone strikes in countries like Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia, resulting in significant civilian casualties, including children. These actions are often carried out without due process and with little oversight, leading to accusations of state terrorism, destabilization of entire regions, the military interventions in Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, and Syria 
have caused the deaths of hundreds of thousands of civilians, most of them women and children. The ongoing instability has created a fertile ground for extremist organizations to thrive. What began as a fight against terrorism has instead led to the mass displacement of millions, destruction of infrastructure, and terrorization of entire populations. Israel's role, Israel, particularly through its actions in Palestine, has been accused of state terrorism, including blockades, military raids, bombings, and collective punishment of civilian populations. These actions are often framed as counter-terrorism, but result in widespread civilian deaths, many of whom are children, and the perpetuation of cycles of violence, financial terrorism, and the burden on citizens. The economic aspect of state-sponsored terror is seen in the form of financial terrorism, wherein citizens of countries involved in these global conflicts are forced to pay the cost of perpetual wars through taxation. Increased tax burden, citizens in countries like the US, UK and others in the Five Eyes Alliance have been subject to increased taxation to fund these overseas military interventions. This is often framed as necessary for national security, but in reality, these funds are used to finance wars that have little direct benefit to the average taxpayer. Instead, the result is an economic burden that erodes social services and increases domestic inequality. Funding endless wars, trillions of dollars have been spent on wars in Iraq, Afghanistan and other regions, draining national treasuries and diverting funds from crucial domestic programs like healthcare, education and infrastructure. As citizens see their quality of life decline, the narrative that they are indirectly financing terror through their government's actions abroad becomes clearer. Terror at home, the increased militarization of domestic police forces, especially in the US, is another example of how states become what they claim to fight. The use of military-grade equipment, surveillance technology, and aggressive policing tactics has led to a form of domestic terrorism where ordinary citizens feel oppressed and surveilled by the very institutions meant to protect them. Conclusion the transformation of government structures, like the military, intelligence agencies, and police into entities that mirror the very forms of oppression they claim to fight is a dangerous and ongoing process. When institutions become more focused on maintaining power, secrecy, and control rather than protecting freedoms and safeguarding human life, they risk becoming indistinguishable from the terrorist organizations they oppose. The Five Eyes Alliance and Israel, in their pursuit of fighting terrorism, have participated in acts that can be classified as state terrorism, resulting in the deaths of hundreds of thousands of civilians, many of whom are children. Their actions have caused terror abroad, while simultaneously burdening their own citizens with the financial and psychological costs of perpetual war. As history has shown, unchecked power often leads to the degradation of the very principles of justice, liberty, and humanity that these institutions are supposed to defend.